An Islamic State controls large areas of both Syria and Iraq, but local Kurdish militia groups are battling to reclaim those territories and defend the remaining ones. Aziz Paul Aslir traveled to the city of Rabia, that's on the Iraq-Syria border, which was held by the jihadists until just a few days ago. We have just passed through the Sahela checkpoint. This is now the war zone. This is ISIS territory. From here, we're driving towards the border town of Rabia. It's on the border of Iraq and Syria, and there has been intensive fighting happening there. Three, up until three days ago, that town was in the hands of ISIS. The other day, an ISIS fighter came out of one of these houses and started firing. So it's very possible that there's still ISIS fighters who've taken refuge in these houses and are hiding. We know from what the Peshmerga tell us that around 100 fighters were here. Most of them were killed by an airstrike and by the battle that took here. But not all of them have been accounted for, which means some of them are still missing and could be hiding in these houses or managed to run away. Yesterday, two ISIS fighters came out alive. They were hiding in the air-conditioning vents, but they were really hungry. They'd had no food or water for days, so they came out. One was firing a machine gun and refused to surrender, so we killed him. We sent the other to prison. Now we are hearing firing, which is the Peshmerga, firing against ISIS, which are, what I'm told, just five minutes down the road. The first day we were here, we lost one of our Peshmerga fighters. There were 20 more ISIS fighters here, but we killed them all. Every once in a while, they still fire from these villages. The smoke that you see behind me is from a house that the Peshmerga have exploded after finding some TNT inside, left behind by the ISIS fighters. Paul Islia RT, on the front line, northern Iraq. And Kurds in Turkey voiced their anger against Ankara for failing to step in and prevent the slaughter of Syrian Kurds at the hands of Islamic State. Yeah, protesters stormed a ferry in Istanbul to raise the alarm over civilian deaths in the city of Kobani. The group chanted their support for the Kurdish forces, and several arrests were made after fighting broke out between passengers and protesters.